previously this season on Little Women Dallas. Are you guys already dating again? I think just kind of taking it, see yeah. where it goes. Do you ever consider moving back to Phoenix? Mommy, Ava, Bree, and Malik are planting this tree as a symbol of our love. You think every person I date is gonna use me? Kaylee's been hooking up with all these sketchy guys. He likes to you, I don't. Me and Ty, we want to open like a midget bar. What we would propose is a 70-30 split. I was hoping it'd be more of like a 50-50. But yeah, it's your idea and all this, but like, if I felt like investing in a bar, I can just go buy my own bar. What did you do today? Playing some video games. Have you started looking for work? Just been chilling out today. You know, the house payment shouldn't be all on me. He needs to find a job. I gotta do what I gotta do. So here's your plate ticket. Oh, Coming up. So on that side, have like a smaller bar where like little people bartenders work there. They can make the drinks there. And kind of sounds like Asta's idea. Kaylee, next time, why don't you tell them the right I said. I did say the right You telling everybody what Michelle said. Oh! oh. oh. I've never been to this before. Who's coming? Everybody. All the girls? All the girls are coming, yeah. My parents used to work at NASCAR, and they got me hooked. So I thought it would be awesome to show the girls what it's all about. And plus, I got a suite for all of them. I'm glad we're up here so we can see everything. I know. Right. How many times do the trucks go around? Uh, over 200. No, around. She said not how fast. No, yeah. There's like 200, 200 laps. laps. Yeah. Laps. The trucks. Do they switch drivers? Yeah. No. Be they don't get dizzy, <laughs> right? NASCAR is like the unofficial sport of Texas. So I don't know how any of the girls are so clueless about it. How are you doing since Austin's gone? Yeah. I'm all right, hanging in there. But what happened though? He just wasn't pulling his weight. So I got a plane ticket home and he got in the car and left. So he'll be okay. It's just weird, you know? Yeah. It's not just having someone there to come home to, to talk to, express how my day was, you know. Yeah, but they make telephones. <laughs> you don't have to do it in person. I mean, you wouldn't really understand. It's I don't right. understand, but I'm not no, complaining. it's okay. Like, you're not even in a relationship like me, nor that long, Kaylee, so you don't really understand what's going through my head. We don't want to be in that relationship. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I've lost all patience hearing about Austin. He's a loser, and Tiffany deserves better. So I hope she wakes up and realizes that. You can hate him all you want. You can say I mean, I mean, all you, you want. Said that. You did. You did. did. You said that. Did I say that today? Like, That's shut up. up. I just watch out for my friend, and I saw that situation. So. And I get that. But dude, like, don't be coming at me when you don't even know what it's like to be in a relationship coming at like you me. At anything. You are. Well, good. I don't want to be in a relationship like that. Yeah, I don't. Okay, good. Why be in a relationship when somebody doesn't Look at Casper and Chase. What happened to that? When I sent Austin home. I wasn't breaking up with him. We were taking a break. Kaylee just doesn't get it. 15 one night stands doesn't compare to my long-term relationship. Kaylee needs to back off. All you guys should worry about for my happiness, that's it. I didn't even want to talk about Austin, period, today. So what's going on with you? So I'm doing makeup classes now. I um, enrolled in school. Good. It's just more fun, like you get to paint people, basically, like. And you do something that you love, so mm -hmm. you enjoy it for the rest of your life. Exactly. Enough about me. What's going on with your guys' bar thing? I don't want to talk about it. Like, I want to keep our friendship away from the business aspect of everything. Yeah, we agree that it's going to get too messy. Things are a little awkward between Emily and I right now. I'm trying to keep business separate from friendship, and sometimes it's easier said than done. So I'm guessing this bar situation didn't work out. Not this situation, Not but this the bar situation, situation is working out. I don't want to talk about it anymore because, you know. Okay, guys. Thank well, you. <laughs> you guys are good. You guys are really good talkers. We're back. Love to see. Wait.
I don't really know much about this bar situation, but there's more to this story than what Asta's saying. Real quick, while Asta's gone, next weekend, uh, I was thinking about planning like a surprise birthday party for her. Uh, doing That's like a hibachi grill style restaurant place. Yeah. And then we can like do sake bombs. Or... <laughs> I love surprise parties. So I decided to talk to Ty about pulling one off for Asta this year. How are you and Zach doing? We're doing good. I mean, it's kind of like those butterflies are back again, Yay. so to say. He's still in town, about to leave. Does he want to like move here or is think about it or he just wants like, to Like, why is he leaving already? He has to go back to work. Yeah. So we both got a lot going on. My ex-boyfriend and I recently started seeing each other again and it's going great. Unfortunately though, he lives in Arizona, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. I love Dallas, so I'm not going anywhere for a guy. Who's ready? I got mine. I got mine. Put it on my head. Yes, it will. Oh, Rock, well, sorry. I didn't know which one I was. I'm like, why the heck are you poking me? Really glad you came out. It's pretty oh. fun. Oh. You liking it? Your first yeah. NASCAR race? Yeah. yeah. My modeling career is starting to take off. Awesome, okay, cool, that makes me happy. Wooda and I are gonna be on the cover of Coastline Magazine. Wow. And for I'm... me to start off like this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm just yeah. so excited, like you I can't take believe it. Yeah, take it and run. Yeah. You don't see many little people on the freaking cover no. of a magazine. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Meet a makeup artist, it'd be cool if I can do your makeup, like, or something. Yeah. I like the way you do your makeup, so I'm gonna give you a try on me. Wuda got asked to do a photo shoot for a Cosign magazine, and we're gonna be on the cover. I've been working really hard to get my modeling career off the ground, and to be on the front cover is a big opportunity. I was just curious, because of earlier when we were talking, what's going on with the whole bar thing? Yeah, I mean, right now it's kind of just awkward, but she basically wants 70%, and we only get 30%. And I'm like... Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, I understand. I'm not like, taking that. <laughs> watching, like, you know, protecting yourself at the same time, but when you're screwing somebody over in the process, too. I understand what she, where she's coming from, because she's handing out most of the money. But at the same time, we will be the ones working it. We're the ones building it. We're putting the ones it putting it together, time opening it, idea. hiring, and we're, it's our idea. No, that. Don't work with her. I'm bummed that we couldn't come to an agreement with Emily. It felt like she was playing hardball and not willing to negotiate at all. We were so close to making our dream a reality, but now we're back to square one. A real friend wouldn't try and screw you over. Yeah, yeah. so it's like... A real friend would be helpful. What's up, party people? Hey. Come on, Shoot it. the bomb, Oh, you made it. Dunk it. Oh, Ooh. you got it. <laughs> Three seconds left. Burn. <laughs> Good job. This is brand new to me. I'm used to quiet, not talking, Bree. You just start talking <laughs> like five years. Out of the whole five years, you talk three months total. <laughs> Glad you're, you're the new Bree. How about I get the new Wuda, since you oh, got the new I, degree? This is the new me. But you're still scared of commitment. Oh, uh, yeah, I ain't with that right now. This is so stupid to me. After all of these years, Wuda still refuses to make us an official couple. It made no sense. Nah, it makes a lot of sense. We're on a cover of a magazine in an article about couples. Like, really, Wuda? So, now we're gonna be on a cover as a couple. Who? Me and you. That's how they're gonna portray it. Oh, they can betray what they want. So we're don't. gonna look like this, but not be like don't, that. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't rush it, don't rush it. I'm not rushing anything. <laughs> well, whatever people want to assume, whatever they want to think, we're gonna let them think it. So what is it gonna look like on the cover? It's gonna look like you're with me on the cover. But I'm not with you. So what? So I'm not gonna put something on the cover. I'm so you don't want to be on the cover? And... You want to be on the cover by myself? I'll be on the cover with me. Since I'm, just I'm doing me, and I'm doing the smiling for me. But this is for me. Okay, then you do it by yourself. You don't need me. You're I don't, I don't but, I'm but I'm bringing you. 
because it's an opportunity. I know we're not an official couple, but being on the cover as a power couple, people are gonna think that we are. And I don't wanna pretend to be something that we're not. I'm not gonna wait around forever. I've been damn patient for five years and would have better commit to me soon. So what are you, you worried about this photo shoot or are you worried about our relationship status? I worry about it a lot, but. Business first. We can be happy together later. Right now the time not right. Well, when will be the time right when we're old? No, when I say the when time right. When I have gray right. hair, you're gonna be what, 50? And then you'll be like, oh, I'm ready now. Because <laughs> I won't be around that long. All right, well. I've been around five years now. <laughs> You're just gonna keep on trying to push a little issue, huh? You're not gonna leave it alone? Nope. You should. Back to trying to pressure me to be in something that I don't want right now, like. Well, if you don't want it, then leave me alone. I mean, I will if I have to. If, if this gonna, if you're gonna start that, I will. Like, you know that. That's what I'm saying, you know me. So please don't do that. Cause you know, like, I'll just go do my own thing. see that twerking isn't a career and it definitely isn't a job that I could do for very long. So I enrolled in makeup school and I'm loving it. Today's class I'm going to be doing highlighting and contouring. So do we know what highlighting means? What does highlighting mean to you guys? To bring brightness to your face. Brightness. And what about shading, shadow, contouring? That's what is darker. What do you think that would mean? So it makes your face like shaped out, like you can see your cheekbones. Right, and, and that's what we're doing, we're sculpting features. Do you think I need to contour her nose? What would if you, you say? you would, I would do a little bit, not where, much, because she's Where? Better. Where do you think I should do that? More towards the bottom, and you can highlight it more down the center if you contour it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. Good. Good stuff. OK, so I'd like you to team up to highlight and contour the face where is needed. OK. okay. You want me to do your makeup? Uh, I feel like you know what you're talking about. Okay. So why don't, yeah, why don't you beat my face? Okay, I'll beat your face. <laughs> I know everyone in this room is gonna think I can't do this because of my height, but I know I got what it takes, and I'm gonna prove them wrong. That kind of tickles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what drag queens do. Is that what you're making me? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go for fierce. <laughs> How's it working? Good, you blended it out well. I never did well in regular school, so it means a lot that I'm good at this. I know when I tell my dad that I graduated from makeup school, he's gonna be really proud of me and realize that I am an adult and I'm not his little girl anymore. You did a really good job. You blended really well and you blended it all down into the beard. That's really good. Okay, Thank well, you. Looks good. Yeah. Right? Thank you. Holy person. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a sporting event tonight, so I think I just need something with some curl. Do you want the whole thing curled? Just make me look good. I don't want to walk in there looking right. crazy tonight. All right. I really love being a hairstylist, and especially when I get those high-end clients. Dawn has been my client here for a while, and I'm so happy that she can overlook me being little. What's been going on with you? Um, you know Austin. Yeah. Well, I gave him a couple weeks find a job because I, I need help to pay, you know, the house if he was I mean, going to yeah. stay. And, you know, he didn't find a job. So. Man, how long have you guys been together, though? About, almost going on four. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Do you yeah. miss him? Yes, I do. Mm. I do. I miss him a lot. But I guess I got to learn to cope with it and yeah. just move That's going to be hard for a little while, but yeah the other fish in the sea. Now, with average size guys, do you think they have issues with their size or? Well, all I've dated my whole life was average size. Really? I've never, ever Whoa, dated. <laughs> really? Yes, swear to God. You've never dated another little nope. person, never. ever? Attracted never. to him at all? Nope. I mean, I guess everyone has a type. Oh, you know how I look at it, to yeah. be honest with you? What? They can't protect me if, God forbid, someone was to break in my house. Really? That's like your criteria. <laughs> they can't I protect me it. if someone's trying to rob me out on the street. Listen, I have a solution to that problem. You know I have a bunch of friends, right? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think I have someone who might work out great. Newly single, a little shy, a little introvert <laughs> like you. You guys will get along great. What do you think? Come Maybe. on, give it a try. 
I haven't thought about dating anybody else. To me, that just feels so weird. But I can't wait around for Austin forever, so why not give it a try? I love it. Good. I love it. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. For coming over. Hey. And I am gonna give him your number. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah. Date night? Yeah, I guess. All right, cool. Let me help you out, okay? All right, thank you. All right, I got you. If I can figure out this chair. <laughs> How do you carry this thing around? Kaylee, you're not cold? A little cold, yeah. <laughs> this is place is big. What yeah, is it going to be cool. used for? I want you guys to come check out a venue with me. OK. Even though things didn't work out between Ty, Austin, and I, I decided to move forward and open my own mini bar in Dallas. What do wow. you guys think? It's nice. I like how the wood looks old and rustic. Yeah, it's different, though. That's the thing. And the windows are, like, super open. It's a good view. And at night, it's, like, super pretty. Yeah. I really want to incorporate the mini bar thing. So my idea with it is, like, there's that open wall. So on that side, have, like, a smaller bar where, like, little people bartenders work there. They can make the drink there. They're super comfortable. And we're going to have, like, that whole area set up just for little people. So is this, like, you and Asta doing this? Or is this... No, kind of sounded like, like this is just you. I know Asta and Emily didn't agree on opening a bar together, but I never thought Emily would go behind Asta's back and open her own bar. Kind of sounds like Asta's idea. She wanted a tiny little bar with tiny little drinks and tiny little stools, tiny little food. <laughs> like, I didn't like that idea. I don't feel like advertising people need to sit down on tiny little stools and eat little drinks and food. Like, I feel like that's mocking us. My vision is more empowerment. Asta really didn't know what she was doing, so I didn't really think it was a good idea to invest in her. People might think mine and Asta's mini bar idea is the same, but they're completely different. Besides, mine's better. We have no tiny plates of food here, thank you very much. If you need me to dance one, some nights, I'll do that. And if you want me to bartend, I got you. But I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna be super dope. I'm happy for you because it's a good idea and you're actually getting it off the ground and doing something. I hope Asta's not mad at me if she wants to work at my bar if she can because her entire are bartenders. But I just don't think that she has the capability of opening her own bar. So I wasn't going to invest my money into something that I don't think is going to be successful. You want to play? Yeah, all right. I mean, I'm not the best I, at well, it. Well, I hope you're ready, because I'm a champ. <laughs> My client set me up on this blind date, and I haven't been in the dating scene for four years. That's a long time. I'm a little nervous right now. So tell me a little bit about Whoa. yourself. Um, I'm a cosmetologist. OK. I'm 21. OK. I have a dog. Awesome. I'm a dog guy, so. I love, I love dogs. You did right. What do you do for a living? Uh, so I am a business manager for a luxury boutique here okay. in uh, Highland Park. Good job, check. Friendly, check. Fun, check. So to me, that's a great start. So how did things end with your ex? Is it like cool or did it just end? Um, it kind of just, you know, it ended. <laughs> do you mind me asking what, what happened? Well, kind of, I do mind. Was it you or him? Or? Just like, done. Yep. I came on this date to forget about Austin, not to talk about him every 30 seconds. Like, come on. I was open on meeting Caleb, but right now it's getting real awkward. Are you wanting kids in the future or, I mean, I'm 31. There's a little bit of a time crunch. Uh, uh nope. My mom said, you know, your whole life changes. It's not about you anymore, it's about, you know, your kids. I do like family, though, so I've always wanted at least a few kids and, you know. Yeah. I know I said I wanted a guy more responsible than Austin, but whoa there, buddy. I don't even know you like that. Sit back down because you're just jumping the gun too fast. This is our first date. So 
what were you saying that photo shoot is again? Like the theme? Power couple. I know Bree's dying to be in a relationship with Wuda, but Wuda doesn't want to be tied down or have that commitment right now. So it's a little weird to me that they're doing this photo shoot as a power couple. I don't want to see her get hurt, so I hope she knows what she's doing. It's not like he's afraid to show me off or anything, it's just mm -hmm. he's afraid of commitment. Like we live together and there's no other girls, there's... I hope there's no other girls because... I wouldn't be sitting here with him right now. There was. At the end of the day, I don't beg no one to stay with me in my life. Like, I am fine with me and me. Mm -hmm. And he knows you're gonna take me, so. Hell yeah, I will. I'm not happy that Wuda said we're not in a relationship, but doing this photo shoot as a power couple will help my modeling career. I dressed up pretty good. <laughs> I did that. Yeah, there you go. Look at the camera, Wuda. Yeah, try that. Try that right there. Great shoot, guys. Can I get y'all to stay for a couple questions? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this way. Tie down now. Pretty much. That felt amazing. For the first time, I felt like I was the one in control. All right. So I'm gonna start with the toughest question first. Are y'all officially a couple, or how does that work? Nah, we're we not we're not officially a couple. Like, so so what is so what is the relationship like? I don't know. It's one of the things that's kind of hard to explain, man. Like, I see a lot of people out here trying to trying to try so hard to be a couple and have a title, and their life is miserable. I'm not with it at all. Not even a little bit. I'd rather not have a title and be happy and live my life and do continue to do what I do than destroy some people's lives and hearts. And I, I ain't got time for it. It's hard to hear Wuda talk about our relationship. I know he hates titles, but it breaks my heart to hear him tell someone else that we're not a couple. People are so amazed by it that they don't understand it. They're just like, well, how are you doing it? You're just living life and being happy. Why are we sitting here complaining about a title? Like, that's not what life is about. No title, no marriage, no none of that. I don't care what nobody says. It's not what it's about. So I had to go with the whole date and everything. I mean, it was fun. Don't get me wrong, but not my type. No. Not my type. Uh, he was balding, and that's all I kept staring at. Kaylee likes comb overs, so maybe she could have talked to him. She that she literally has told me her type is comb overs. That's not my weird. definition of a type. That's a hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> really bad. One. He was a nice guy. Was it like awkward? I mean, yeah, because I've, I've never been on a blind date. And I was in a long-term relationship, you know? So it was kind of like out of my game. Caleb was a nice guy, but there was no chemistry at all. But hey, at least I put myself out there and gave it a try. So are you and Austin still talking? I mean, you know, we're taking it slow. Are you taking it slow or you're on a break? Three, four years is a long time. Being with someone, you, you yeah. just can't cut them off like that. And it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All I've ever heard was complaints from you about Austin, but now you're already back talking to him, even though you're taking it slow. You can't take it slow with someone that you've been with for four years. You're always gonna get back to the same point. Tiffany may think that taking it slow with Austin will help their relationship, but it's not going to. If he hasn't changed in the last four years, do you really think he's gonna change now? What gets me the most is not everybody like sees Austin the side I see. You know, none of you in a way give him a chance. But at the end of the day, Austin is Austin. He's yes. not gonna change his ways. Now, see, I don't believe that. But he his can't change because thing. you tell him to. Well, you I understand to that, change. but he I think he sees the light, though. When I made, when I said goodbye, he's never gone through that. I've you never didn't say once, goodbye. You, you still talk I, to him. Okay, right then and there, he. I feel like he kind of saw, like, wow, she's not. But he also saw, I got around. this bitch in my palm of my hand because you're talking to him still. Don't talk to him because you're afraid to be alone or you're afraid to start over. All of you people think I'm afraid to be alone. Have you ever? Have you ever lived on your own? I'm afraid. It's it's not. Have you ever lived on your own? Afraid? No, I've never lived on my own. Okay, period. so you are young. She and I have been through a lot. You think you're happy. You might not have ever experienced things that are different. This is all you know. Emily's right. Your first love is hard to get over. But Austin was really disrespectful to Tiffany. 
She needs more life experiences so she can know if he's actually right for her. It's just the fact that I love him and I always will. And he is my man. And so now he's yours? You know what I mean, Emily. I love the kid, the man, whatever you want to call him. He's been there through everything that I've had to do. And you know what? I really, I care what you ladies have to think, and I care about your opinions, but you guys should only care if I'm happy. How is it your happiness that we're worried about if all you do is complain about him? I, I don't com... The only thing I complain about is that he couldn't get a job when he was here. And yeah, I am talking to him and I'm taking it slow, but I don't know what else you guys want from me. I, I don't. You say you want to be happy, but you've only been with Austin. If that's what you want in life, it's your life. But don't settle because it's all you think you can have. What you been doing? I decided to put my big girl shoes on. OK, and what are we doing? I'm going to makeup school now. Makeup school? I decided it was time for me to grow up, put the twerking Ooh. aside. But there's a lot of going on right now. I need to talk to Asta about some stuff. What happened? I was excited to know that there was a mini bar opening here in Dallas. But the more I think about it, it is copying Asta's idea. And it's sad that Emily has to go and steal it. I was just telling Michelle about some stuff, and I think you need to sit down, and I need to tell you. Can I wait, though? Like, it's no. packed. I want you to find no, out now. Basically, I checked out a venue with Emily. It was just me and her and Bree. Two seconds later, she's telling me all these ideas for this bar, and it sounded just like your ideas. What's okay, up, baby? Bye. I thought I'd find you here. Yeah, you should sit down. I was just breaking it to Asta. Basically, I'll just cut to the chase. About what? Emily's taking your guy's idea and making her own bar by herself. She already has a venue. She's going to have a little person bar, so like you get to stand there. You don't have to worry about standing on stools and stuff. Whatever. And she's going to call it the mini bar. <laughs> That's our dad. She's stealing the name, too. Oh. And I asked, you know, is this you and Asta? And she said no. I don't even know what to think about all of this. She's taking our bar idea and turning it into her own. This really hurts. I mean, what kind of friend does that? I remember, yeah, we ended on kind of like bad terms with the agreement, but I did not think that she would go ahead and take that and like take our idea and- Y'all need to send her, her a no, Hold on, no. y'all need to send her a cease and desist letter and shut her ass down. Because what she done took all y'all ideas, that is a dirty, underhanded bitch. Because she has all this money, she thinks that she can do whatever she wants with it. We cannot sit idly by like what she takes her idea. She basically played possum with y'all. She acted like she didn't like y'all idea when all along she was taking notes. We have to sue her. Sue her ass. Isn't that a little much, though? Like, awesome. it doesn't. Like, are bet. you serious right now? I want to give Emily the benefit of the doubt, so I'm not going to sue her right now. But if she is really going to go with this mini bar idea, I might have to consider it. All the nights we spent thinking of this, and she's sweeping the rug. Like she's she's still taking my the rug right off. And I'm like, you know, I want to hear her out. I don't, I don't think y'all are in this friendship together. You got to stand up for yourself. Nice. Let's put the presents over there. Over there? Yeah, you want to put oh, the I'm going to yeah. run and grab the cake. OK, thanks, babe. Yeah. Asta's birthday is tonight, and I've planned an awesome surprise for her. I can't wait to see what her face looks like. Does Asta have any idea? She thinks she's just doing dinner with us. She usually have really, she's bad at keeping stuff. She'll bring it up and be like, yeah. We <laughs> tested her, though, because I had Tiff text her earlier and be like, hey, what are you up to tonight? She, said. she was like, oh, I'm going on, you know, a double date with Zach and Amanda, but I'll let you know, like, later on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, darn, I don't have right? any Right? That's why I was like, oh, man, well, you have fun tonight, girl. Guess I'll just be sitting here by myself. <laughs> She's going to look at me and go, wait. You little You, punk. you little liar. <laughs> All right, guys, she's parking. Everybody oh, get ready. Get your surprise. 
Your surprise face. Your surprise, surprise face. face. On. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday! Hi guys. I had no idea this is happening. This is awesome. I thought I was just having dinner with Amanda and Zach. It is so awesome to know that I have such amazing friends. So awesome. Have you talked to Emily about the bar? Amanda's the nicest person in the world. So I'm not surprised that she invited everyone. But honestly, I really wish she'd invite Emily because I'm really pissed off at her right now. Emily, Austin has something she want to talk to you about. Why isn't Austin getting my attention? I was helping him. Go ahead, since Rochelle said you're ready. Haley told us that you're trying to open up a mini bar. I thought, like, you know, yeah, we didn't, like, you know, accept the agreement, whatever. But I didn't think you'd actually go ahead and, like, you know, take our idea and open up a midget bar. First of all, I don't, I would never open a midget bar. So that, first of all, is wrong. I don't know what Kaylee's been running her little mouth and said. I never said anything about midget bar. She just said you did. I didn't say anything about midget bar. I said So what did Kaylee, well, first let's clear this out. What did Kaylee say? <laughs> that you're building a bar off to the side with little people. Not just any bar, a mini bar. Even yeah, said, all I said was the mini bar part. I never said she was taking the games, taking the drinks. Why are you on my side now? I thought you were on my side when you I never said yes, she was you doing mini bar. I, I never said okay. she was doing mini bar. Shut your mouth so I can talk. Oh, oh. Who should talk to you? Oh. All of you. You want me to say something? She's talking you guys to you. Keep talking. You're who you talking to? Me. I just want to know who you're talking to. Me? All of you. Never once said she's doing mini drinks. I said she said that it was dumb. I told I, you to I your face. Think that's dumb. She said it was dumb. Wait, why are you telling her to her face anything I said? Well, I thought it was the audacity to tell her. Even at that time. I told you to your face that Emily said it was dumb. Yeah, I told Austin to her own face. When we left that mint place, what did I tell you that I was going to do? What did I say? You are going to open a bar, but I didn't think you were opening up a bar. mini bar. It's not a mini bar. It's not a mini bar. You said that to her. That's what I, I heard. You're saying that. you're building a mini bar. Hold it's on, hold on, Austin. What kind, of, what kind of bar are you open? It's going to be little people in there. There's going to be little people there, yeah. I, I have friends with little people. Mini bar. Little people, blah. There will not be little stools. Blah. There will not be little drinks. There will not be those things. Well, you did say that she's going to have a bar where it's going to be a little bar, and then there's going to be a big bar. Yeah, because it's a big bar in there, yeah. Regardless, if a friend's coming to you for professional help, and then you steal their idea, that's not I good. told Austin to her face. When we were at that restaurant, I told her what my plans were. Because at the end of the day, it's my money, and I can do what I want with my money. And yeah, just because you have money doesn't okay, mean that you can do whatever the f you want. I thought I could trust Emily, but clearly I can't. This just goes to show that she's not a real friend. Why does what I do affect you? But because you, you never would have opened, you took our concept. Basically. And you can't open a bar without you tried to come to me because you couldn't do it without me. You don't really know much about bars anyway. Like, how are you yeah, doing this? You've never worked I in a bar. Agree. You never worked fully in a bar agree. besides twerking on a fully bar. Agree. Fully agree, but I don't have to work there. Girl, the I'll be ready I don't have to, to meet there. you in a dark alley. No, why are we going to bring violence? Girl, you better shut up. You ain't even brought back what Why? you say. You Why? sit down. What side of the well, beach you want to be on? I'm not going to be. I already told you. I told you. If you don't bring the violence, you don't the game. You, you get out of the balls when you tell you. I'm going to tell you. Now you know you're my baby. Calm down. All this is stupid. I'm trying to enjoy my birthday, and all I get is, like, shady friends. This is bull. They're just pointing fingers so they don't have to own up for what they're doing. I didn't do anything besides tell two friends what's up. I don't really understand what the big deal is. You came to me with an investment idea. You guys are not a good investment. I have my money. I can go with my money and do what I please with it. I don't need Asta coming at me with this tantrum just because she missed out on an opportunity handed to her. In business, there's winners and losers. Right now, I'm the winner. All right, at the end of the night, this oh, is okay. Asta's birthday. I believe maybe you should just leave. Okay. Bye. Kaylee, next time, why don't you tell them the right I, I did say the right well, Clearly not. You telling everybody what Rochelle said. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, bitch, hold on. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa,
just throw up for me and think it's okay. So let's not. Bye. Oh, oh. Why don't you talk to Kaylee about acting fake? I'm not fake. I said it to your face. Don't burn your hand. What kind of seasoning did you put on them? Uh, I just threw some of the olive oh. oil. You sure? No butter, right? No butter on the steaks, no. Tasty butter right here. I know. It's What's the me. butter on? It's on mine. Okay. I don't know why I'm being so grumpy with Zach today. Maybe I'm just sad because this is his last night. I never expected things to go as well as they have, and I'm just really gonna miss him when he goes back to Arizona. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for cooking. Anytime. Have you enjoyed our, my time out here? You have. You've been a, a distraction, but a good distraction. In the end, all I want is you to be happy. That's it. I want to make this work, too. Can you really mean that? Of course. There's just things you need to figure out if we're going to do that. Like what? Um, like, you want me to come back to Arizona with you, and that's not gonna happen. I really want this relationship to work out with Zach, but it's gonna take a lot of work if we're living in two different states. And being in a long-distance relationship scares me. They could be really tough. I know the situation isn't ideal, but one day it will be, and I just have to stay strong until that day comes. Honey, I know how hard this is. I want you to know that, like, you mean the world to me, and you know that. I'd love to be out here with you. I love the life that you have out here. I'd love to come back, you know, a few times and take it from there. Zach is amazing, and I'm so glad that we reconnected after this many years. I'm hopeful that this long distance thing will work because the absence is only gonna make our hearts grow fonder for each other. You know I love you. I don't appreciate everything you've done since you've been here and making me dinner especially. A to Z. <laughs> Not going back to A to Z. <laughs> <laughs>
Like, it's all bullshit. Like, they don't have money to open their bars, so they're gonna sue me to get my money. So she listened to Michelle to take legal action. That's freaking bull Next time on Little Women Dallas. Make sure that Austin knows if she wants to go the lawsuit route, she will lose. And when she loses, she's gonna pay my fee. Everything I've been doing, Kaylee's been going back and telling her. And it's causing other people legal problems. Like, yeah. it's not a game. I don't know if you guys know, I've had breast cancer in my family. I noticed, like, a lump on my right breast. Let me just take a look live with ultrasound myself. Um, this here is abnormal. I know I'm ready to have another baby. Don't you want Luntel to be here with you every day? Do you think he's going to do that? If he's not ready, then that's not going to happen. You told me that Emily is clearly stealing my bar. She's a hard person to stand up to. OK, you just get drunk over there with your little bitch ass face. So I'm sorry. That you ran your mouth. You didn't even let me talk at all. Hey.